Welcome to 11 People. We are here at Fratton Park. It's International Week and I'm here with Cheeky Sport Dave. Come on! It's <laughs> great to be here, Smith. It's great to be here. Now, let's get stuck in to these Euro 2016 qualifiers. Let's do it. We'll be giving you the stats on Bosnia against Republic of Ireland, Ukraine against Slovenia, and we'll be hearing from Dutch and FIFA 16 legend, Rud Hullet. And let's not forget the ultimate clash of titans, these Latan versus Lord Bentner. Plus, there's still a chance to win a signed football from Thierry Henry and Jamie Redknapp. That's right. The first person who correctly predicts who will go through to Euro 2016 from our three featured games will be the winner. But make sure you're subscribed. That's right. Little fact for you, Cheeky. Talk to the me. The combined population of these two countries is less than London. No way. Yes way. Unbelievable. Although Bosnia may not have a huge number to choose from, in Miralem Pjanic, they have an absolute class act. And no one has more assists in Serie A than he does. No one? No one. Wow. And he's created as many chances in Euro qualifying as Tony Cruz. So what are you saying then? I hope I'm wrong, but I fear for Ireland. I think Jekyll's boys might nick this 1-2-1 and qualify for the Euros for the first time. I hope you're wrong as well. And there is hope for Republic of Ireland because they had the best defence in a league that contained Poland and the world champions, Germany. Plus, they can still call upon the legend that is, Ravi Keane. Only four Europeans have scored more international goals than him ever. He is in amongst some of the legends of the game here. And I can't believe he scored more goals than Zlatan, Ronaldo and Wayne Rooney. So you're going for the Republic of Ireland to qualify then? Yes, mate. I think it'll be a tight encounter, but I think over the two legs, they'll nick it 1-0. Come on, Ireland. I've been with the opening of, uh, of uh, the game and, uh, and that team of uh, legends. I didn't realise what the impact would be. Because nowadays the kids, they remember me from FIFA. <laughs> I think the rushes and things like that, I could accelerate during my sprint. I was good in also providing, crossing players, seeing things, put people in front of a goal. It's different. One is left back, it's also uh, attacking. Barezi was not so much about attacking. Barezi was about controlling the defence and uh, a leader, so it's totally different. That is nice, uh, you know. I know that the kids, when they see me, they all want to have me, even my own son, they all want me. Can you make sure, can you get it for me, please? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know how to do it here. The 104th meeting between Sweden and Denmark. Surely this has to be the greatest of all time. These Latan have scored 59 goals in 109 appearances for Sweden. And eight of those have been in qualifiers. He's too good. And I can't see Denmark stopping him over two legs. Mate, never underestimate Denmark. Lord Bentner should be feeling as confident as ever. And the stats back him up. He's yeah. been directly involved in six goals compared to Zlatan's eight. Created the same amount of chances. And he's got a better pass accuracy. So you trying to tell me these guys are on the same level? Definitely not. But I do think Denmark will keep things tight at the back. I'm saying one all. Them going through on away goals thanks to a Christian Eriksen free kick. Five questions. Let's go. Who said this? A World Cup without me is nothing to watch. The Zlatan. Correct. Who said this? What John Carew does with a football, I can do with an orange. Lord Bretner. Incorrect. <laughs> Who said this? We're looking for an apartment. If we don't find anything, then I'll probably just buy the hotel. The Zlatan. Correct. Who said this? On the most beautiful woman in the world. I haven't met her yet, but when I do, I'll date her. The Zlatan. Correct. <laughs> and lastly, who said this? I should start every game. I should be playing every minute of every match and always be in the team. Has to be Lord Bettner. It is Lord Bettner. <laughs> he scored four out of five. Ukraine are the favourites for this one and they'll go through to the Euros, one nil in aggregate. But they'd have to get past the keeper who's on top of his game. Samir Handanovic has kept eight clean sheets in 12 Serie A games for Inter this season. That's the most in Serie A. Yeah, he's a quality keeper. And he's kept four clean sheets in nine European qualifiers. But I reckon it could be long-term Premier League target Andrei Yarmolenko that gets the better of him. He has got an absolute rocket of a left foot and he's not afraid to use it. He's Ukraine's top goal scorer and he's got two assists to add to that as well. I'm saying Ukraine 2-0 through to the Euros. See you later, Cheeky Sports. Oi, oi. <laughs> Here's a quick recap of who we think you'll be seeing in France next summer. And don't forget there is a signed ball from Thierry Henry and Jamie Redknapp up for grabs. All you've got to do is guess which teams will qualify from the three featured matches. To watch more Soccer AM, click one of these two boxes in the corner of your screen. Or if you're watching on the mobile device, click the eye in the corner. Comment, like, share, subscribe, get involved. Laters. Click in the box, click in the box. Ah, 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 ah. Click in the box. Ah, 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 ah.